I have a question for you. If you were to think about good thoughts all day long, would you have time to get or any time to get sad or angry? Think about it. Think about the times when you think about things that are funny, things that are good, or times that you have really enjoyed. Do you really have time to get sad or mad? Think about that. Even if for a certain time period, perhaps an hour, two hours, five hours, or something like that, while you are thinking about those funny times or those good times, have you had time to really get sad or angry while you was thinking about those thoughts? And if you are really honest with yourself, you are going to say no, that you did not have time to get really angry or depressed about anything while you were having those good thoughts. Like your situation is still the same. Whatever happened to you is in your past still, but while you was thinking about those good thoughts, you were not feeling sad. You were not feeling depressed. When you was thinking about those happy thoughts and stuff like that, you did not have time to feel depressed or overwhelmed. So, what usually happens when you begin to feel depressed, angry, or any other negative feeling. Usually you are thinking about something that is making you feel that way, right? Give me a second, please. Usually you are thinking about something that is making you feel that way, right? Think about it. Take note of when you start to feel depressed. I know for myself, when I may get irritated or sad and stuff like that, when I get sad, usually I am thinking about something that makes me sad. <laughs> or when I get irritated, I may be contemplating a bit on some things that make me irritated. I pray that this makes sense. So, what are you trying to say, Kevin? Okay, let me get to my point. If you want to feel a certain way, you have to think of thoughts that are going to make you feel that way. If you believe, if you focus on death, sorrow, and dead babies and stuff like that, how can you get any enjoyment if you are thinking of thoughts of that? Like, how can you get happy? Hey Kevin, I want to be happy, so let me think of death sorrow, and dead babies. What if you was to say that to someone? They would think that you are crazy, right? Like, <laughs> if you want to be happy, why are you thinking of those things? Seriously. But if you came to a person and say, hey, I am thinking about the good times of my life, you know, when people treated me rightly, when I spent time with my parents, 
or whatever makes you happy, I am thinking of those thoughts to be happy. What if you was to say that to a person? It would make sense, right? So why do we believe that we can think of things that makes us sad and wonder why we are not happy? How can I get happy, Kevin? You are making your own self sad. Things happen to us. We all go through things. But when you contemplate on the bad, it is going to make you feel bad. If you contemplate on the good, it is going to make you feel good. Well, Kevin, you know, I try to give a smile and show people that I am happy, but it does not work anymore. Why is that? You are still contemplating on the bad. Look, if I contemplate on my dead, let's say that my mom and dad die. So if I was to contemplate on my dead mom and dad, and I know that makes me sad, I can smile like, like, hey, you know, <laughs> you know, and talk to everyone and act really happy. But if I am contemplating on negative things, no matter how I act, it is going to make me feel bad. It is not about what you are doing on the outside. It is what is going on here, in here. You can act all happy and proud and everything on the outside, but if your mind and your heart is not reflecting what is on the outside, when you go back home or alone, you are going to constantly cry and be depressed and stuff like that. Why? Because you are contemplating on the bad. So when a person comes to me and tell me that they are depressed and they drink and they get high and all this stuff here, get drunk and stuff, that tells me what you are contemplating on. Because if you look at other people, There are people that went through so much bad things, but they are not depressed or acting in a way where they are angry at people and stuff like that. Why? Because they choose to not contemplate on it. Myself, I could be depressed forever. <laughs> <laughs> forever man forever forever but when I was younger I actually was depressed a whole lot and even when I was in sin I learned see I was in sin back then even when I was in sin I learned contemplating on the bad makes me feel worse when I would focus on the bad like I would feel so terrible extremely terrible this was back when I was in sin now where I did not know as much as I know now not even close not even close but even back then when I was so young or younger, I guess I can say, like I am old or something. When I was younger, I found that contemplating on the bad makes me feel a lot worse. So I told myself, hey, whatever happens, happens. So what? 
I am going to focus on something else, something that is not going to make me feel down and depressed. And that is what I did. So yes, I was being cursed by God and stuff like that because <laughs> I was choosing to disobey. But at certain times, I would not let that get me down. Which is bad, I guess I can say. I don't know. <laughs> but I learned that even when I was in sin, there is no good in thinking about negative thoughts. For instance, I can think of something right now like that would really get me down. I'm serious. Like I could be down right now, laying down, sad, perhaps crying as well. Yes. But I choose not to do that. I pray that this makes sense. Change your thoughts. Well, I can't change my thoughts. Okay, what if a thought of you murdering and eating people's bodies came to your mind? What if that thought came to your mind? What would you do? You would quickly change that thought, right? Unless you are insane or something. <laughs> like, hey, I want to think about eating humans, you know, because I am quite hungry. You would change your thoughts, right? So why not change your thoughts when bad things from your past come to your mind? Think about that. I pray that this makes sense. You have the ability to change your thoughts, but you choose not to because why? Because you want to hold on to it because in some crazy way, you feel some type of comfort from that. Yes. For instance, let's say you held on to something hot. Holding on to something hot for many of us don't feel good right so we are going to drop it right in some cases like if it is really hot we are going to let that thing go right why because it hurts like hey ouch it hurts like no <laughs> but what if you hold on to something usually when you hold on to something you have some type of interest in that. That you are comfortable with it. I am not saying anything crazy, am I? So in some weird way, you have some type of comfort with holding on to those issues. Well, Kevin, you know, how can you say that? Blah, 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 blah. If you don't have comfort with it, why are you holding on to it? I am not holding on to it because blah, 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 blah. You are holding on to it. Because if you didn't like it, you would change your thoughts. I don't want to think about or have thoughts of eating humans in my mind. So if that comes to my mind or ever, I would be like, hey, no, <laughs> I choose to not think about that. Why? Because I don't have comfort in that. Hey, Kevin, my mom and dad did me wrong. How old are you now? You are in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, and you still thinking about that? there is some type of comfort for you to hold on to that. I choose not to believe in you, Kevin. I, whatever. <laughs> I don't care, man. But I pray that this makes sense. Bad thoughts come to me about my past, whether it is from my mom or dad or uncle or 
I want to say my uncle, but sisters and stuff like that. Bad thoughts about them come to me about what happened and stuff like that. But I don't seek comfort in that. So when it comes to my mind, I am like, whatever, what, whatever happened, happened. It is over with. I don't care about it. I am not going to let it affect the way that I am now and how I treat other people. Whatever happened, happened. Whether it was my fault or their fault or whatever else does not matter. Because I am not going to let it affect me anymore. You see, I don't have comfort in holding on to those issues. That's why I let it go. If you are not letting it go, there is some type of comfort you are holding on to. You can pretty much say whatever you want to say, but that is true. And you can't say, well, you never been through what I've been through. How do you know what I've been through? <laughs> Only if you could, like, view my life, man, you would be really shocked. Really shocked. It is a miracle that God changed me, man. Like, I'm serious. A miracle. For me to be the way that I am now. A miracle huge miracle sometimes i am surprised by the way that i am that i am now so i pray that this makes sense stop seeking comfort and holding on to your pain what good have came from it think about it in some cases, don't some people treat others more badly because of what someone has done to them? Yes. So you justify treating people wrongly because someone treated you wrongly. Or you justify being a certain way toward a person just because you got hurt. That is wrong. So let me stop here before I continue on. <laughs> God bless.